So what is this twin boost? Let's look at it. First, Indian economy showed signs of resilience at the beginning of the year because the industrial industrial output rose. That's very important. The industrial output rose and inflation fell. These are the two reasons. Now December inflation fell from 5.7 it fell to 5.1 so that's a good sign because the prices will reduce and uh, the, inf the cost of the items will reduce that is the best part because the inflation reduced and I'm sure all of you know what is inflation. Inflation is nothing but rise in the price or the reduction in the purchasing power of money. It means for 100 rupees previously if you are able to get 5 items today for 100 rupees you will get only 3 items that means inflation is high but for same 100 rupees if you are able to buy 8 products or 9 products then the inflation has fallen down that is a major fund of it so the purchasing reduce reduction of the purchasing power of money is called inflation so it has a slower rise in the prices of the food items like cereals, milk and milk products, fruits, pulses and spices. Now it still remains above the central bank's target of 4%. Currently it is at 5.1%, 5, 5 the target is 4%, this is important for your prelims. Food inflation which is measured by consumer price index accounts for nearly half of the overall consumer price basket. So food inflation that is another problem. So in this slide the major point is industrial output rose therefore inflation fell and it fell from 5.7 to 5.1 percent food inflation has raised a little bit and the target for RBI is 4 percent. Next, uh, it in, this inflation stood at 8.7 percent in November and finally fell to 6.62 in September. So this clearly shows this. What is a government intervention? Early high inflation levels had prompted the government to take supply side measures such as releasing substantial sell stocks from the reserves. Government said from the stocks you please start releasing everything and uh, managing the imports and exports of the pulses to ensure supplies. So to tackle the inflationary prices where it has become very difficult for the public to buy the products what has the government done from the reserve stocks it started releasing all the cereals pulses and all these things so that people get are able to buy the products for a very very low cost keep making sure that food security is being maintained that is highlight of it. The government had also restricted exports of rice and sugar to the tame the inflation. So restriction of exports, that's also a very important point. So because if items are going outside, then how will the consumption happen within the country when the prices are high? When the prices are high, people cannot buy. That means consumption reduces. So if you are doing more exports, what will happen? Outsiders will buy, insiders will not be able to buy. Consumption will reduce here, but there the consumption increases. That means it's a hit to the food security of the country. Therefore, they have stopped exports also. That's how the government has intervened and taken care of the public food security. Now, factory output, that is very important. It measured in terms of index of industrial IIP values, 3.8% uh, in December 2023 against 5.1% in December 2022. So manufacturing, it rose 3.9% annually, mining 5.1% and power is 1.2%. So please remember these values, useful for your prelims. Now, capital goods production, rose by 3.2 percent very useful for your prelims consumer durables production which highlights consumer sentiment also rose 5 4.8 percent on an annual basis so all of them are very very important how they how will they give a question to you is they'll give you a big question they'll give you all the details and say which of them are true based on the new pattern of prelims so keep that in head very very important next inflation what is inflation please remember inflation is decreasing the purchasing power of money as I told you, food inflation is a rise of the price of the food commodities, rise in the cost of production and MSP are the main drivers for cereal inflation uh, while inflation in milk, vegetables and meat and fish are driven by input cost. So if you remember this, this is very important. Food inflation, price of food is because of rise of production, cost of production and MSP. Cereal inflation and milk inflation and meat, vegetables are all inflation are driven by input cost inflation and positive demand supply gap. So if you remember these points, I think it should be more than sufficient.